G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. This is a different take on a traditional recipe, but once you've had a slice, you have to have another one. So join me today as I make my version of a vegetable and herb meatloaf. Now we're going to start off by softening up some of our vegetables. So I have a fry pan on the stove on a medium heat. I'm just going to drizzle, drizzle on a little bit of olive oil. And to that I'm going to add in one chopped up onion, two sticks of chopped up celery, one chopped up red capsicum or bell pepper, and a couple of cloves of minced garlic. And we're just going to stir fry these for about three or four minutes, just until they all soften up. Okay, so next to the bowl, I've got about 800 grams of lean minced meat, also called ground beef. Now to that, I'm going to add in one beaten egg, a couple of tablespoons of parsley, a couple more tablespoons of basil. Preferably use fresh, but I've only got dried at the moment. One shredded zucchini, half a cup of breadcrumbs, 200 grams of diced tomatoes, then our softened vegetables, and a generous season of black pepper. Now you can add salt if you like, it's completely up to you. Now all you have to do is simply get in there, get stuck in there, and mix it all together. Now I have a large greased loaf pan. So all we have to do is just transfer our mixture into our loaf pan. Now once done, we're gonna place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. And there we have a delicious vegetable and herb meatloaf. Now I'll be honest, it's definitely not the prettiest recipe around, but when it comes to a healthy dinner, it certainly is one of the tastiest. Now the biggest mistake that so many people make when they're making a meatloaf is that they overdo it. Now as a tip, just simply tip the pan slightly for some juices to come out. And if the juices that are coming out are clear, that means it's perfect and ready. Now if you avoid the temptation to overcook it, and the finished product is nice and moist, I guarantee this meatloaf is going to taste simply delish. Now, depending on how many people you want to serve it, you can have it as a meal by itself or throw in some vegetables on the side. And remember, to make sure it's healthy, make sure you only use lean meat. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.